What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we have more trending Funko Pops and a couple of these are worth a couple more billion dollars. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Funko Pop video. Today we're gonna to be discussing more trending Funko Pops for a couple different categories. Now before we jump into all of that, I do wanna let you guys know that we do have a video sponsor and that is the Whatnot app. It's a live auction platform where you can buy and sell your favorite Funko Pops. And we're actually gonna be going over a couple rare and more expensive and hard to find Funko Pops. And the Whatnot app actually is a great place for that because they have a wide variety of older vaulted Funko Pops just like these in this video. So make sure to check out my Whatnot link down below and get a free $10 in the process. Firstly, I did wanna go over a couple responses that really helped out the process of this video. So I asked the question on my story, what are some trending Funko Pops that you guys have noticed going up a little bit? And I think one of my favorite favorite responses here, Kareen says, give me all your Funko, dot dot dot, dot dot, please. Well, since you said please, here you go. Another one was from JDHDBSBS9. D's. Who's D's? And lastly, I just kind of wanted to say this one, Waifu Material says, Morbius Funko, it's Morbin time, my guy. So with that, Let's jump into the video. Now this video is a little bit different because I took to my Instagram story and actually asked you guys the question of some Funko Pops that you have noticed trending upwards in price. And we're gonna be going over some of your responses. Now one of our trending Funko Pops in this video did come from Pabby with four Bs. We do have Captain Jack Sparrow. And he's actually pretty right, to be honest. A lot of the Captain Jack Sparrow Pops have been actively going up, pretty much all of them, given there's only like three or four out there. So I went ahead and took the liberty of displaying the three that we do currently have that are going up. Firstly, the most expensive one being the Jack Sparrow with the old Disney logo there at around $150. Now, this is an older box. This is a lot rarer and a little bit harder to find. So over on eBay, it's a lot more expensive for this one. And it was actually at $90 at one point, and now it's all the way up to $150. And that's roughly about what people are actually charging. As you can see, you can tell when the trial kind of happened and where the spike just kind of happened like crazy because it was sitting around the $40 range for a good while. Like these pops really weren't going anywhere in price. They were all around $20 to $40. The Disney Store logo one again being the more rare one because it's a little bit harder to find with that old logo. But as you can see, you can tell where it just went absolutely nuts. Now we also had this Pirates of the Caribbean, I believe from the first movie, if I'm not mistaken, number 172 at around $70 currently. Again, you can see where the, um, the, tri the trial and everything that went on definitely hit because for a good while he was around the $20 to $40 range and he's since doubled, almost tripled in some cases uh, since the trial went on. And then lastly, we did have the Pirates of the Caribbean number 273 here uh, where he's around $60. This is the one that I currently own. I think I got it for around 20 bucks and he's since, he's since basically tripled in value um, at that point. Again, basically, Johnny Depp is just trending like crazy, and given he said blatantly that he does not want to work with Disney anymore, and they're slowly pulling him kind of away from the Captain Jack Sparrow merchandise, and pulling it off shelves, and taking it out of Disney, and trying to just do away with his character in its entirety because of this trial, and all the bad rep, and everything like that, basically they're trying to erase the character essentially. Kinda, at least. It's still a pretty good moneymaker, so I don't see him really fully going away for anytime soon. However, pops like these still do exist, and if these are the only pops we're ever going to see of him, they're just gonna go up in value and become super valuable because they're not gonna make any more. Now, by some crazy off chance that Disney and Johnny Depp actually do strike a deal for him to appear in Pirate 6 and end off the franchise the right way, and I'm saying by some crazy off chance, I see these going even higher in price because basically he said he would never work with them again. So if that happens, these are going to go crazy. So if you're a big fan of the character, I recommend probably just picking up at least one, uh, maybe the cheapest one if you just want a pop of them because they're all going up like crazy. Next up, coming from Crazy Collectibles, uh, says Sailor Moon Glitter here. Now this one has been one I'm actually, I've actually been looking at for a while now and I meant to mention in a couple of my last previous videos. As you can see, this one was sitting out around the $200 range for a good while, and then it just had one crazy high sale around $500, 
and that's just the standard for this pop now. Now, honestly, outside of scarcity, there is no real reason for this one to go up crazy like that, but again, it's simple supply and demand. There's not enough to go around, so it's only gonna go up, up, and up if very few are on the market and people are still actively looking for this one. So this is probably the biggest grail in that set now, and it was the biggest grail, but now it's like the biggest, like, holy grail, essentially. Now, also, I know they've been releasing a lot more Sailor Moon merchandise lately. That's pretty much all I could find on the news for Sailor Moon. It's not like more episodes are coming or a new movie is coming. It's just more merchandise coming out. So I'm assuming just more people's eyes are on Sailor Moon right now and somebody took the chance of throwing the pop up for a crazy price and it happened to sell or maybe somebody shield bid it. We don't really know to be honest. However, this is the price now. It's a $500 plus pop now and I highly doubt Bailey ever gets this one for her collection so she'll probably just have to keep it as it is unless by some crazy off chance I can find an amazing deal. Anyways though, this one definitely has been going crazy. Now coming from Nawa BK underscore, they said Winry from Full Metal Alchemist. So Winry Rockbell if you don't know her character. Um, so this one's actually very interesting and here's why. Currently sitting at around $25 on PBG. That's what it's showing. However, that is not the case. This is around anywhere from a $40 to a $100 Funko Pop right now. If you look on Mercari, very scarce. There's a couple signed ones and then there's a couple single ones that are around $75 and up. Over on eBay, the prices are a little bit cheaper around the $60 range. The, I think there's a couple around $50, but this is definitely not a $25 pop anymore. And the reason being, I think the only thing that I heard was that a bunch of orders were actually canceled, some pre-orders. Same situation as Grim Jow where it basically, once it got canceled, it shot up like crazy. Same situation is happening here where this could very well be one of the more expensive pops in this set given it's already selling for around $75. I think literally on Mercari, there's roughly around maybe five or six on the app to be honest, unless some are kind of mixed in lots and things like that. But I did not see very many Winrys on Mercari. There's a good amount on eBay, not a crazy amount, but it's not like people are charging $25. The scarcity of this pop is getting more and more slim as we go, and again, those order cancellations are just kind of confirming the fact that this is just going to be one of those little mini grails in the future, um, especially if this one does actually get vaulted and they make no more of them. Now, currently, the two biggest grails in that set is the uh, King Bradley Chase around $150 and then um, Alex Armstrong around $100. I didn't realize this one was going up like that because I heard the rumors of it being canceled, but I didn't think it was going to spike like this, but it happened. I think the same thing happened to Death the Kid and a few other pops, um, so it's just scarcity right now to be honest with this one. If Funko by some chance makes more of these, then it's just going to tank the value of this one given it is still currently listed as available on the Funko app. So as far as this one, to be honest, I'm just going to tell you guys to buy this one at your own risk with the risk of it possibly restocking. I don't know if this one is going to be vaulted. Um, there's only like one or two vaulted in this actual set. Alex Armstrong is one of them, and then there might be one more vaulted in this Full Metal Alchemist set. But I do feel like a big vaulting is coming for all of these. They just made a new set, a couple new characters. And uh, I, I do feel like maybe the Full Metal Alchemist set will be officially vaulted within the next year, to be honest. Anyways, though, Winry is definitely going up in price, so if you do own one, I guess that's good news. Now, coming from original underscore Funko underscore, we do have Fry from Futurama here. So I actually talked about this one... I want to say like three or four months ago almost now in a buy these now video because I figured this one was going to actively go up because they continued kind of like with the show but I, I don't remember exactly what the situation was. Anyways, there were more episodes actually made and Fry, I think if I'm not mistaken when I looked at the video earlier was around a $38 pop and now he's at $75 and people sell it for $100 plus. So I saw it on a whatnot auction the other day. It's over on eBay. Like This one's getting really, really hard to find. So this is one of the ones that I was actually kind of right about, which was cool to see. And uh, it's definitely doubled in price since that video in these last few months. So a lot of people are really going after a lot of the Futurama Pops right now. And I've just seen them slowly, not actually, uh, kind of slowly because it's been a couple months, but um, they've, just, they've just been climbing essentially like crazy. And Fry is definitely been a big winner in this set. Coming from Glade Evening 73, he said Super Shadow from E3 2018. Now this is probably our biggest banger in this video because everybody started selling theirs around this very price and we do have it at $1,500 on PPG. Basically the last Sonic movie triggered the response in this pop. 
this was really around a two to four hundred dollar pop roughly it, it wasn't like it wasn't like a huge like crazy holy grail until now essentially literally this movie this last sonic movie triggered all of these sonic pops to just skyrocket and skyrocket and skyrocket and i told you guys this was going to happen because of this movie so i really hope someone took my advice especially on these these sonic pops i i'm not right about every single pop but i knew it was going to happen with these sonic pops because they went so freaking crazy. Like Shadow the Hedgehog went crazy. The Super Sonic Pops went crazy. The regular Sonic Pops went crazy. Just before the movie came out, they were going crazy. And I just wanted any Sonic fan to jump on them at that chance. So if you were one of the ones that picked up the Super Sonic, the E3 one, um, when it was, I don't know if I recommended this one because it was pretty expensive to be honest, but maybe by some chance you, you know, just bought it because you thought it was going to go up as well. It was a good buy, basically. It was a good buy. This one literally went up a thousand dollars, essentially, in a matter of like two or three months. Like absolute insanity. You haven't seen a pop price increase this much, like just in a while. Like this is absolute insanity. And the thing is, it's legitimate now. Anybody who actually has this pop is selling it for a thousand dollars plus. This is a legitimate price now, and it's not going away anytime soon, I'm pretty sure. Because one, it's a limited piece. How many pieces was it? It's only 1,500 pieces in the world. And a lot of people are holding these pieces, so there's very few on the market. So unfortunately for Sonic fans, this is going to be one of the more unobtainable Sonic Pops. Coming from Chad Funko Fanatic, he says, WWE Sting Wolfpack. And I actually took a look at this pop and its kind of history, and I was actually really surprised, to be honest. It's around 165 dollar pop it mainly sells for around the 140 to like 150 range but it is basically around this 165 dollar price as you can see for wolfpack sting roughly around a hundred dollar pop for a good while and in the last month or two months or so it just kind of shot up and had some high sales and this is actually a pretty old pop very rare pop as well um, there are some signed ones as well that might be influencing it a little bit but they also have them kind of separated on ppg so maybe not so much uh, but anyways guys this is just one of the bigger grail pops in the wwe set now um, this is actually a variant if i'm not mistaken as well um, because we do have like a regular sting with the white face paint so this is the grail variant essentially of that sting pop so yeah guys for any ww fans who owns this one you own a pretty big grail now next up we did have oscar here so this one's very interesting actually so i wanted to actually take a look at the official con sticker and the shared sticker here so oscar's from evangelion here and uh the the reason this is interesting is because i was looking at like news on evangelion for the anime itself there's nothing there's literally nothing. This one just shot up out of nowhere for no reason, essentially. And the funny part is you have the SDCC sticker showing $200. However, it definitely I can tell that both of these have not caught up with their previous sales data. A lot of these are listed. The con sticker, you cannot find it under $300 currently. I looked on Mercari. I looked on eBay. Everybody's selling it like super high, essentially. I mean, if anybody's looking for it right now, someone might not be paying attention to eBay and you might get it for that $200 price, but it's definitely more than $200. And the shared sticker is not $40. I, I, I promise you it's not around $40. This one's selling anywhere from $60 to $90 to almost $100 right now. So Asuka is just a big grail in this set now. She was the most expensive pop in this set even before this big boom and continues now to be the most expensive. A couple of the other commons are around the $30 to $40 range as well. I think it's just time, the time for this anime where the pops are just slowly increasing in price. So it's probably a really good idea to actually pick up this set if you've been looking for it. It almost makes me want to watch the anime just to see if I like the pops, just to grab them now just in case because they're definitely going up for sure. And uh, this one... It's just the problem with the problem I have with this one is there's nothing. There's nothing that's actually increasing it. So it's just blowing my mind. <laughs> now, our final selection from this video comes from underscore Jeremiah05. Ken Kaneki, Hot Topic went up like $100. And he's actually right, to be honest. I've been actively following this one because I do own it. And uh, currently on PBG, showing at $250. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why this one's going up so much. The official sticker there with the hot the hot topic sticker there this is also a glow in the dark pop if you didn't know it's very very hard to find and any listings you do find are maybe either torn up and a little bit cheaper but nobody really wants a torn up beat up box or they're just super expensive 
and I'm telling you, this is getting incredibly hard to find. I was lucky enough to actually pick this one up um, a little bit earlier before it's pop, like kind of explosion. I think I got mine for around 150. And Jeremiah is right, it's literally gone up roughly around $100 in value in just the last few months. So if you do own this Ken Kaneki, you're one of the lucky few because this one's incredibly hard to find. Well guys, those are all my selections for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. I want you guys to comment down below what is a Funko Pop that you've currently seen trending upwards that we didn't share in this video? And thank you to everybody who actually did respond to my story question. I really appreciate everybody just throwing all your answers my way, even the ones that were kind of weird. <laughs> now guys, I do want to end off the video by saying a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to check out the Patreon guys. We do share a lot of information there, whether it's restock news or updates or trending Funko Pop news, buy these now news that we share there before we share them in videos. So the Patreon members have kind of like a little bit of an early head start on some really, really good deals of pops that are going to go up. Like there's a lot of different things that go on in the Patreon only discord. So check out that link down below guys for exclusive perks. Now, we also have a Facebook group with over 13,000 members that you guys can join. It's buy, sell, and trade, and you can have a ton of fun in there, as well as make sure to follow me on all my social medias for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.